now, what about this? A masterclass in how to get it right when so many in this world at the moment are getting it wrong as we surround ourselves with a cloud of madness. Forget boom and bust. How about boom and boom and boom again? We're about to talk to a man who started life covering up the holes in his boots with a cardboard box. And now he has his dream home, the original South Fork Ranch, a castle in Budapest, 70 resorts, including 25 game parks in South Africa. He even has his own collection of antique tractors. And why not all of this on the back of being the world's largest supplier of aloe vera, proving there's no such thing as an overnight success. It's all about honest hard graft. Let's say hello, not to Vera, but to squillionaire Rex Morn. Good evening, Rex. Hello to you, Chris. Thanks so much for joining us. So crazy times at the moment, but how is the world of aloe vera? It's very good. It's excellent. We're uh, helping uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of people all, uh, all over the world, and uh, we're uh, selling in 135 foreign countries with nine and a half million distributors. Now, when you were a kid, when you were like seven years old, the little Rex Morn in your life, did you think you'd ever be the world's biggest supplier of aloe vera? Uh, well, I just hoped to get uh, get away to go to uh, a college, and uh, so I uh, I didn't think that far in advance, I'm sure. So how did you come across it? When did your paths cross? Well, when uh, I was water skiing, going to college, and uh, every Saturday going water skiing all day, and uh, and being very light, I was very burned, and uh, the, the suntan lotion didn't stay on very well, and so uh, I had a pharmacist that uh, tell me about cool gel, with aloe vera, and uh, that kind of, I thought, saved my life at the time. So you investigated further, and this is common, isn't it, with entrepreneurs and successful and positive people. Where others see problems, you see opportunities. Right, right. So what did you do next? Well, I, uh, I actually uh, started, uh, uh, I was going to uh, meetings of uh, multi-level marketing uh, friends of mine, and uh, they had asked me to come and speak, and I, I was from... Uh, uh, working with, with the only uh, New York Stock Exchange uh, company in Arizona. And uh, I uh, watched them and saw how their marketing plan works, and I thought, wow, this is really great because you can help so many people. And uh, so I wrote a, a marketing plan that I thought was better than anything else I'd seen, and, uh, and I looked for a product and found three doctors that had spent 20 years of their life developing the stabilization for aloe vera to take that clear gel out of the leaf and uh, be able to stabilize it, put it in a bottle and keep it for forever. Now, honestly, was it about the money ever or was it always about the idea and the passion? Uh, basically the passion. I, I was making m as much money as I could spend at that time and uh, doing very well, but I wanted to do something that helped other people and uh, and to, to be able to do that with a great product like aloe vera, which uh, everybody calls the miracle plant, yeah. and because of what it does to our bodies and helps us have better health, and uh, our marketing plan helps people uh, uh, have a better lifestyle, more money to uh, spend for their families, uh, their friends, their churches, their schools, and uh, all of the uh, company country uh, companies and. Uh, organizations that need contributions so uh, I uh, I think that's uh, what makes me uh, feel uh, uh, the best uh, when I think of uh, of the things that we've been able to do for so many people in so many countries now it's very hard to trust uh, lots of different uh, companies at the moment with y your money so maybe now's a good time to go against uh, the, the grain and maybe set up your own business at uh, what most people would think would be an opportune time. So if people are thinking about that, going out on their own, give us some tips from the top, my friend. Well, um, always, uh, uh, you know, the, the main thing is to have the, uh, the right product, the, the very best marketing plan, and uh, then you have to have uh, great people who have a desire to help others. And uh, if you have that, uh, you, uh, you can conquer any obstacles that come your way. And you say never lend money to a friend? <laughs> Definitely never. <laughs> you lose a friend fast if you lend money to them. And never have favorites in the workplace? <laughs> never. That's right. Everybody's the same. Treat them all alike, and they, uh, they are all very happy that way. From the boardroom to the basement. Now, I hear you're never going to retire. Is that right? No. I, uh, I, uh, my children asked me wh 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 why I don't retire, and they thought I had retired. And they said, what does retire mean? And I told them, well, that means you've been retread 
and got to go faster. All right. Now, listen, uh, how is Mrs. Morn and the kids and all those 12 grandchildren nowadays? They are all very healthy, uh, all using our products and all working in the business. And uh, they love to help other people. All right, Rex, thanks so much for sharing your wisdom with us this evening. Thank you. Uh, come visit South Fork Ranch in Dallas when you get an opportunity. And uh, the uh, uh, I hope that all of the uh, people listening will... Uh, uh, take an opportunity to meet one of our distributors and uh, go to our offices and try our, our products because uh, they work and uh, we want everybody to have better health. All right, Rex. Thanks a lot, my friend. God bless. Thanks, Chris. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, that man is an absolute legend.